All right, guys, welcome back to Pi Spark for Beginners. We're on to our chapter five, talking about powerful exploratory data analysis with MLlib. In this section, we're going to take a look at three different topics. Number one, how can we compute summary statistics with MLlib? Number two, using Pearson and Spearman correlations to discover different correlations in our data, data set. And finally, testing our hypotheses on large data sets. The first thing we're going to talk about is computing summary statistics with MLlib. In this video, we're going to take a look at number one, what are summary statistics? And number two, how do we use MLlib to create summary statistics? Let's jump in and take a look. So as you all know, the MLlib is the machine learning library coming with Spark. It's a recently new development that allows us to use Spark's data processing capabilities to then pipe on into machine learning capabilities native to Spark. What that means is we can use Spark not only to ingest, collect, and transform data, we can also analyze and use it to build machine learning models all on the PySpark platform, which allows us to have a more seamless, deployable solution. In particular, today I want to talk about summary statistics. So summary statistics is a very simple concept. You're probably very familiar with something like an average or a standard deviation or the variance of a particular variable. These are summary statistics of a data set, right? Because the reason why it's called a summary statistic is because it gives you a summary via a certain statistic. So for example, when we say, talk about the average of a data set, we're talking about, we're summarizing one characteristic of that data set, and that characteristic is the average. So how do we compute summary statistics in Spark? The key actor here is the call stats function. And what this does, it, it computes the column-wise summary statistics for an input RDD. And you can see that this accepts one parameter, which is an RDD, and allows us to compute different summary statistics using Spark. So going back to our Jupyter Notebook, we have our Jupyter Notebook Chapter 5 here, and we are talking about computing summary statistics with MLlib. So the first thing I want to do, like before, is in N9, what we're doing is collecting the data from the text file kddcup.data.gzipped and piping this into the raw data variable. After this, because the kddcup data is comma separated value file, we first split this data by the comma character in in 10 in this line and put it in the csv variable standing for comma separated values we take the first feature of this data file and this feature represents the duration aspects of the data and so we're transforming it into an integer here and also wrapping it in a list and you're going to see why very quickly why we're going to wrap this in the list and this helps us do summary statistics over multiple variables and not just one of them to activate the call stats function what we need to do is to import the statistics package as seen here in the first line of in 12 this statistics package is a sub package of pyspark.mlib.stat and we then need to call the call stats function in the statistics package and we feed it some data in which case we're talking about the duration data from our data set and we're feeding this summary summary statistics into the summary variable to access different summary statistics like the mean standard deviation and so on and so forth we can then call functions of this summary objects here and access different summary statistics. For example, we can access the mean. And because we only have one feature in our duration data sets, we 
can index this by the index zero and we'll get the mean of the data sets. Similarly, if we import the square roots function from the Python standard library, we can then create the standard deviation of the durations seen in the data sets. To illustrate what happens if we don't index this summary statistics with zero, we can then see that summary max and summary min gives us back an array of which the first element is the summary statistic that we desire. And that's all there is to it. So we've just learned, number one, what are summary statistics? And number two, how do we use MLlib to create summary statistics?